Hello, sweet team. Welcome back to my channel. This is Sweet Ajele and I am back with another recipe. So this recipe right here is so delicious. I just came up with it one day when I was about 17 years old. My best friend loved it and now my whole family loves it. Yes, Jagble, you know what I'm talking about. So I started by adding in some coconut oil to that, some red onions. I sauteed it for about five minutes. And now I'm breaking in some eggs, which we would be scrambling. Yes, do not forget to season your eggs a bit. I take some of the yolks out to bring down our cholesterol, okay? But you don't have to. I'll then give it a quick scramble just until it solidifies. And then I'll add in some chopped up habanero pepper, optional, but we want a bit of a spicy kick to this. We'll stir everything together. I also went ahead to wash about three cups of rice and we'll go ahead and add that in some salt to taste, stir everything together, and then we'll add in our water. When adding your water, you wanna add it in according to the type of rice you are using. And because I'm using jasmine rice, that doesn't take too well to too much water, we will add it just above the level of the rice. Go ahead and add as much water as you want if you want this rice to be soft and mushy. I want mine to be perfectly single grained. I season it with a bit more salt, give it a stir, cover it up and bring it to a boil. Once it boils, we're going to go ahead and lower the heat and allow all the water to cook out of it. Then we'll cover it with a parchment paper to trap the steam and allow our rice to cook to perfection back to check on our rice and look at all the condensation that the paper caught we will add some carrots and string beans to it because we want veggies we're trying to be healthy here today cover it up and allow it to cook for an additional five minutes meanwhile i'll season my salmon with some all-purpose seasoning celery salt ground anise and set it aside and again to the rice our veggies are perfectly cooked so we're going to stir everything together and turn the fire off our rice dish is ready now whenever you add vegetables to your rice ensure that it goes in your refrigerator immediately because if you leave it by the next day it'll go bad and we do not want that cover it up set it aside and prep the rest of our meal we will be making some cucumber salad so to a bowl, add in some cucumbers to that, some onions, carrots, tomatoes, spring onions, and I'll spray some vinegar over it, a bit of salt to taste, not too much. Stir everything together and we're going to go ahead and add in some mayo and a little drizzle of honey. You may use sugar if you wish. I'm trying to stay on the healthy side or you can skip it all together. For those of you that don't want any sweetness to this, okay? And then once we stir everything together, we'll add in some eggs, cover it up, leave it in our refrigerator to cool while we get our fish ready. Now let's prep our fish. In a hot skillet, add in some olive oil. To that, place your salmon skin side down. Yes, and remember we've already seasoned the skin side, so we're going to go ahead and season this side as well, and then we'll cover it up and allow it cook halfway. And we are back. Our fish is looking good. It's not done yet. We'll flip it over and we'll add in some butter into our olive oil and also drizzle some lemon juice over it. Totally optional, but this takes the flavor to the next level and you are going to love it. Cover and cook for about five more minutes. 
and we are back to check on our fish it is looking good i drizzle some more lemon juice on the skin side and then we'll flip it over and sprinkle some parsley over it our fish dinner is ready you can enjoy this with potatoes or just vegetables but today as you all can see we're making a full dinner and i hope you will try this for your family you may use any fish or even chicken if you wish for this recipe At this point, I'm going to drizzle some of the flavorful sauce around this because it's not oil. It has lemon juice, butter, everything. You want to drizzle some over your salmon and voila, your salmon dinner is ready. You need to try this. Trust me, if you don't have or like salmon, use any other fish of your choice. It is now time for us to serve and enjoy. Yes, y'all, this recipe always makes my family go nuts. And I know it'll make your family do the same. Do not forget your salad. Put everything together and I will add some green pepper sauce to this because I want a little more spiciness. Thank you all so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and are inspired to try the recipe. If you do, share pictures with me on Instagram and I will be so happy to post it on my story. Until I see you in the next one, stay safe, keep loving each other, and remember that the love of God and family is life's greatest blessing. And guys, ke onamini uchemi suite mahabutu. Bye y'all. Continental food, madam. Oh, food, madam. International food captain. Who show you how?